Afternoon, I'm Rob Johnson. Erica is off today. Now to some disturbing allegations. A student at this high school on the southwest side of Chicago says she was sexually assaulted inside a classroom. The alleged assault happened inside Curie High School. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemonio live outside the school in Archer Heights. Suzanne. Rob, police say the girl was taken to a hospital by her family members after the assault took place here at the school. Now, sources say the victim does not personally know the suspect. She has seen him around school. Police are searching for this young man, 17, 18 years old, to believe to be his age. Meantime, the parents that we spoke with here at the school, they are very upset. Were you concerned you found out about this through the Internet and not through the school? Well, absolutely. I mean, uh, I've had my children in other schools and we always have notes uh, or phone calls. Veronica Robles has a similar reaction to many other Curie High School parents we spoke with, each saying they were unaware of an alleged sexual assault taking place at the school. You assume that every child is safe, but, uh, you know, you never know. Police say a student was sexually assaulted in a classroom around 3 o'clock in the afternoon last Friday. The offender fled on foot. Chicago Public Schools Chief Education Officer Janice Jackson said this about the incident. It's an ongoing investigation, but as soon as we have more information, we're happy to share. What I can tell you is that there are no immediate threats to the school or any students. We spoke to crisis responder Andrew Holmes by phone. Holmes has been in touch with the victim's family. The mother, uh, she's uh, totally upset what they mainly want to do because she's so traumatized, her daughter's so traumatized. It's just ask the school if they have video footage of this individual running out of the school or any store or anything has video footage or uh, image of this individual just just to give that to the media and also give it to the Chicago Police Department. Now, in a statement, the school says that the safety and security of students is taken very seriously. The school, as well as cooperating in the investigation and communicating with the families of the two students involved in this situation. We're live in Archer Heights. Suzanne Lemonio, CBS 2 News. Rob. Okay, Suzanne, thank you.